Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Katie. I'm gonna test out the Huda Beauty Nymph Body Highlighter as a primer. I've seen Nikki tutorials do it. Um, so I'm excited to try, cause it's like sweat proof, waterproof, like all these things. And I'm like, yes, we should do that today. already prepped my face. I've got my moisturizer on. I've got some sunscreen on. So we're just gonna get right to it. I'm also gonna prime my face adding um, a little bit of the Tatcha Luminous Silk Primer um, to help with, you know, those Pesky smile lines, my under eyes, and a little in my pores, and my, on my cheeks and on my nose. Is it lifting this up? It doesn't look like it. I'm gonna attempt to use a foundation that really doesn't like my skin and I have more normal um, to dry skin so like I heard people love this foundation so it's the L'Oreal Paris infallible fresh wear foundation so I'm hoping it'll actually be cooperative and work for me today because it's got um, sunscreen in it meant to do my eyes first. <laughs> Such is my life. Eh, it's okay. Alright, I have to ask, is there anybody here, or any of you, who hates having their hair down? Like, I almost like constantly hate having my hair down. Um, like, especially when I'm getting ready, but like, 99% of the time, my hair is up in some form of ponytail or middle bun. Because honestly, I just, I don't like it most of the time. It's super glowy though, for sure. I feel like it looks really good right now. Like. My foundation looks really good. However, in like an hour, it's gonna usually, usually it looks like poo. Set my face with the Gosh Prime and Set. Bake for a few minutes. I'm really then into baking my chin. Because that's where my foundation really likes to break apart. So, and then my smile lines. And I like to bake my nose. Um, I know it looks funny, but I literally have come all of a sudden and I have no foundation on my nose. And I'm like looking at it like, what? the heck? Like, where did it go? Oh, I should probably bake there too. My other troublesome spot is right here between the eyebrows. I'm going to start this look by taking 
Agent from the Jaclyn Hill Armed and Gorgeous palette from The Vault. And I'm gonna use that as a little bit of a transition shade. I'm gonna stamp out where how I want this look to go and find the right brush to do it. And I'm just using RCMA No Color the translucent powder. I'm gonna go back in with Agent. Put up just a teeny bit. And then I'm gonna go into Top Secret, which is this green color right here. Now, I know everybody had like, everybody's like so controversial on these palettes, but I've never had any problems with them. I'm gonna take this green shade from the Rimmel London Magnific <laughs> Magnificent Eyes Thunderstorm Edition. And we're gonna build up the green. And then I'm gonna take this shade right here, put that all over the lid. I'm gonna use my finger. I'm gonna take this like dark chocolate brown and I'm gonna line my eyes with it. Go back in with that green color from the Rimmel palette. I'm 
And I'm gonna take Agent again. Together. So I'm gonna do the rest of my face with this Cover Effects Perfector Face Palette. It's got all these things in it. I got it in a boxy charm. And a highlight and I'm actually gonna mix the two highlighters in here one's like a champagne -y, and one's like a pinky but I'm gonna mix them both so gorgeous guys so if you ever feel like you're not getting enough pigment on your nose when you're using a brush. That's why you'll see me use my finger. And then I'll buff it out with the brush. I love highlighter. I don't know what I did before I knew what it was. I actually didn't wear very much makeup at before I knew what it was. Haha. <laughs> so I'm gonna take the pinky blush. There's only one, but I'm gonna take that. Top off the excess. Yes, I know it seems like a ton of blush, but honestly, it'll it'll fade and fade so quickly. I see that spot where it's just wanted to like grab, so I'm trying to fix that. Now that we're done with the face, I'm gonna finish off the eyes. Um, and put an inner corner highlight. All that fun stuff. That I'm gonna go in with VIP from the Jaclyn Hill palette. And in case you're wondering, yes, I do want to be seen from the moon. I'm gonna do some lashes. Now, there's conflicting ideas, I should say, about whether or not you should do your mascara first or if you should do it afterwards. I honestly don't know. What, what is your preferred method? But I'm gonna coat mine with some L'Oreal Voluminous and carbon black but it's the waterproof one these are the i think are dull wispies like not the or the demi wispies i don't know but there's such a thin band i have difficulties with it Um, so I know they're not super dramatic and I know that the eye look kind of is, but I don't want to take away from the eye look today. I just kind of want to enhance it a little bit. So that's why I went with these ones. I'm going to do my lower lashes and then I'm going to do my brows.
using Mellow Cosmetics Brow Definer. I'm gonna set my face with MAC Fix Plus. No, who am I? Who, why am I not setting it with um, Urban Decay and Nighter? Just taking a break from that one today. Finish the look off with the MAC Aladdin collab and Friend Like Me. I'm really enjoying I'm really enjoying this shade. Here's the final look. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel. Ring the bell if you want to be notified when I upload. I upload once a week, Saturdays, 8 a.m. Arizona time. I will leave all of my social media um, platforms linked down below where you can find me. If you recreate this look, please tag me in it. And until next time.